top 20 strongest devil fruits in One Piece. In the world of One Piece, there are hundreds of different devil fruits, each granting the users extraordinary abilities and power. But did you ever wonder which devil fruits are the absolutely strongest in the entire series? Mm -hmm. Well, you're gonna find out today, as we'll be explaining the top 20 strongest devil fruits in One Piece. And let's start with the one most of you probably forgot about, the Doku Doku no Mi, eaten by Impel Down's warden, Magellan. This Paramecia-type devil fruit allows Magellan to produce and control poison, and even grants him immunity to it. Although it sometimes looks like Magellan can also transform his body into poison like Logia users, that's not really the case, as he can only create poison from his body and not transform into it. Magellan was shown using this devil fruit in many unique ways, like traveling through prison by creating poison tubes, covering the himself fuck? with a thick layer of poison or using it as a shield or even creating big monsters out of poison such as hydras or demons stoppable and Magellan was able to defeat many strong fighters with ease like Luffy and Blackbeard this fruit doesn't really have any major weaknesses but the user I'm not even gonna lie to you bro this shit don't even seem that overpowered to me bro sound kind of lame has to be careful while using it next to his allies as he could accidentally poison them if he loses control number 19 Mori Mori no Mi Mori Mori no Mi is a Logia type devil fruit that allows the user to create, control, and transform into flora. It was eaten by Aramaki, better known as Admiral Green Bull. Unlike most other the Logia hell? devil fruits, this fruit turns the user into a solid element instead of a fluid. This means that the user is unable to let attacks pass through their body, though said attacks are still harmless to them as they can simply regenerate from wounds like any other Logia. In what case the, the user's fuck? entire body is destroyed at once, they'll simply regenerate by spouting out of the ground like a plant. During combat, Bro, that's like some dumb Aruchimaru type shit bruh like that's literally what Aruchimaru does it's, it, he come out of snakes I don't know how the fuck that work but yeah that's overpowered as shit bruh Green Bull utilizes this fruit primarily Literally no to way he got targets, beat. either wrapping vines around them or capturing them with underground root tentacles. So far, the only known weakness of this devil fruit is fire. But even that can be nullified, as with enough training, the user can make his body fireproof. Although we don't have much information about this fruit, as we've only seen Green Bull fight once, it's certainly powerful enough to earn a place on this list. 18 more incredibly powerful fruits are left, and let's continue with Fire Logia, the Meta Meta Yeah, that one. Meta Meta no Mi was initially <laughs> by too Ace, freaky. but after his death, Death, it was eaten by his brother Sabo. In addition to the usual luggy abilities, it also burns an opponent if they try to physically harm the user. While most wait, so hold on though. Whenever a user dies, where does the devil fruit come back from? Like, what the fuck tree is it on? Other Logias, the attack would just phase through. This Devil Fruit is really strong offensively, with the user being able to unleash devastating fire-based attacks and use flames to increase the force of physical strikes. This is best seen in Ace's signature Fire Fist what attack, the which fuck? greatly increases the size of his fist and turns it into fire. Despite its aggressive attacking power, the Meta Meta no Mi is unable to win against certain other Logia powers, like Smoke or Ice, for example, as their clash would just go on indefinitely with no clear winner. However, an even worse counter to this fruit is Akainu's Magu Magu no Mi. Me, which completely overpowers it due to magma being hotter than fire before we what is that is that like actually a true thing i've never heard of magma being hotter than fire like what the fuck Continue, there's one bonus devil fruit I'd like to cover, the Sub Sub No Me, a special devil fruit that allows me to make anyone subscribe to the channel. Go on, click it. No, anyway, bitch. The next up is Hobi Hobi No Me, a paramecia type devil fruit eaten by sugar. That, that shit looks crazy. To transform living people into toys by touching them and erasing. Bruh, I ain't gonna lie, I thought that was like a Tetris fruit memories of their existence from others as if that's not powerful enough it also allows the user to create a contract with the victims forcing them to follow their every order in addition victims appear to right. lose their physical strength when becoming toys being limited to the capacities of whatever body they now may have however if the victims were skilled fighters before becoming toys that fighting knowledge is still retained what the user can take advantage of this by commanding toys that were skilled warriors in their true form to protect them although this fruit is ridiculously powerful it has a few weaknesses For shit example, they better hope she'd have Good. Uh, is she the good guy, bro? She better be the good guy. There's no way they fought this motherfucker. Immediately cancel all transformation and memory modification effects. Also, the user needs to be very careful when creating contracts with the victims, as those can be easily exploited via loopholes. Number sixteen. Mm. Sushi, sushi no me. 
Zushi Zushi no Mi is a paramecia-type devil fruit that allows the user to manipulate gravity. It was eaten by Isho, better known as Admiral Fujitora. Using this fruit's abilities, Fujitora can move pretty much anything, ranging from debris to massive battleships. The range of this gravity force appears to be got telekinesis. Big, it That's literally what that is. Meteors from outer space. Fujitora was also shown capable of canceling Earth's natural gravity, which allows him to simulate flight. We've seen this when he made himself fly on a small rock and levitate alongside his men on a ship. Fujitora's signature technique during combat is called Gravity Blade, and using it, he can channel gravitational forces through his sword and unleash them simply by moving his weapon. He used this during the Dressrosa arc against Don Quixote pirates, pinning them to the ground and creating a huge hole. However, what the even this power is not impeccable, as gravity can be disrupted by attacking Fujitora, as shown when Zoro used a projectile slash to interrupt the Admiral, enabling him to escape. Additionally, some people can resist gravity if they're physically strong enough to maintain a hold of their current location. I don't know about you guys, but it's crazy to me that there are 15 fruits left. Bro. Hold the fuck up, bro. That's what I'm saying, like, bro. These, these damn devil fruits are so fucking crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie, the abilities in JoJo is still crazy as fuck, though. But what is the texture of these fruits whenever they bite into these bitches? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering, one. bro. Number 15. Goro Goro no Mi. Goro Goro no Mi is a Logia type devil fruit that allows users to manipulate and turn into lightning. It was eaten by an L, and according to Robin, it's one of the few powers touted as invincible. As pure what lightning, the an L is intangible and can let most attacks phase through him harmlessly. By fully turning into electricity, he can also move at lightning speed, allowing him to zip in and out of sight, cross large distances instantaneously, and overtake any fleeing target. The most interesting That's thing hard, about bro. this devil fruit is that the user can even restart their own heart with electricity should they need to. Even by Logia standards, this fruit seems remarkably strong, possibly because of the sheer destructive power of lightning as an element. While pretty much unstoppable, the Goro Goro no Mi's ability does have a unique weakness in the form of rubber, which makes whoever ate the Gomu Gomu no Mi... It makes sense though. I was about to roll my eyes, but it makes sense its natural enemy. All of Enel's lightning attacks had zero effect on Luffy, and Luffy's physical blows could completely bypass Enel's intangibility. Another possible counter to this fruit would be Hockey, but as Enel was a pre-time skip villain, we don't really know how effective Hockey would be against him. Number 14. Hey, bruh. These abilities, bruh, that shit was hard as fuck. Nigga basically turned into Zeus. Fuck. Invincible, the only thing that can beat him is rubber. Throw, throw a couple tires at his ass. Nikyu Nikyu no Mi. The Nikyu Nikyu no Mi is a paramecia type devil fruit eaten by the former warlord Bartholomew Kuma. The first and foremost ability of this fruit is that the user can push virtually anything they touch into bubbles. This includes both tangible things like people and objects, but also intangible things such as hollows, pain, and even memories. Oh. These bubbles can later be stored and accessed by anyone who touches them, causing that person to feel whatever was stored inside them. We first saw this when Zoro offered to consume all of Luffy's pain from the bubble in order to save his life. This fruit also offers the user an incredible defense during combat, allowing them to deflect any attack. They can also perform offensive maneuvers, such as repelling the air around them at very high speeds. These attacks are so what powerful the that they can even leave paw-shaped imprints on rocks. One major weakness of this fruit is that the user can only activate it using his bare hands, meaning if the user's hands are occupied or is caught off guard, they will receive the damage from the attack. Number 13. Pika Pika no Mi. Next is Pika Pika no Mi, another loaded like type of fruit that allows the user to transform into yeah, of course, bro. It sound like down Pikachu, bro. Is this lightning that's coming out of his feet? Light. It was eaten by Borsalina, oh, that's, better known as fuck? Admiral Kizaru. With Pika Pika no Mi, Kizaru can utilize light-based attacks, such as shooting laser beams from his hands, fingers, or feet, or even throwing physical attacks that connect at light speed, which can cause devastating damage. D However, since the fruit is light-based, all of his laser attacks can only travel in straight lines, same as light itself. Like NL, Kizaru can also travel at the speed of light and instantly reflect himself to any desired location. Using this ability, he can completely bypass almost any attack, even gunshots fired from meters away. If he for any reason doesn't dodge the attack, it'll simply go through him, same as any other Logia power. The fruit's power can only be nullified with strong hockey, shown when Rayleigh temporarily bypassed Kizaru's intangibility and diverted his attack to save Luffy and his crew. Number Wait, so it don't matter what the damn fruit is, hockey is strong as fucking is getting through the shit, bruh. That's literally what I'm getting from this video. Like, it don't matter what, the, what fruit you got, bruh, hockey is getting through that bitch. I, bro, I watched that damn hockey explain, bro. I just gotta watch the shit to see what the hell they talking about. 
chapter 12, Hie Hie no Mi. As the ice Logia, this fruit allows its user to transform into the element of ice, as well as create Frozone. and control it on a massive scale. For example, Aokiji can freeze the surface of the ocean and then casually ride across it on his bike. He could also freeze two tsunamis during the Marineford War, saving the Marines from Whitebeard's attack. However, Aokiji's biggest achievement with this power was battling Admiral Akainu for 10 full days and permanently warping the very climate of an island, turning it into a frozen, uninhabitable wasteland. What the Although this fruit has many cool abilities, it definitely shines when it comes to combat, with Aokiji being able to create ice weaponry or freeze his opponents with physical contact. He can create enough ice to freeze a giant, a sea beast, and even Whitebeard temporarily. Hie Hie no Mi is also one of the few fruits in the entire series that can prevent the user from drowning in the ocean, as the user can just create an ice platform on the surface and stand on obviously, it. Obviously, that's obvious as fuck, bro. Model Phoenix. Tori Tori no Mi, Model Phoenix, is the first mythical Zoan-type devil fruit we were introduced to in the series, and as you can probably guess, it allows the user to transform into the Phoenix. This fruit was eaten by Marco. Fuck, this nigga turns into a Pokemon. The former First Fleet Commander of the Whitebeard Pirates. As with all Zoans, this fruit grants Marco a significant boost to his overall physical abilities, and as a bird Zoan, Marco is also given the ability to fly. However, the strongest even a regular ability bird. this fruit grants to the user is to produce the Blue Flames of Resurrection. By cloaking himself in flames, Marco can rapidly regenerate all injuries inflicted on him, much like how a phoenix is said to rise from its own ashes. Marco can also spread the flames onto others around him, helping them recover from their injuries, although to a smaller extent. Although these flames can heal Marco from pretty much anything, there is a limit to it, and therefore the user is not truly immortal. With this fruit covered, we're only halfway through Bro, the video, that's, and from that's, here on, the fruits are- I ain't gonna lie, that a bit- if you only got just healing, bro, that shit is lame as fuck. That's like fucking being a healer in damn Overwatch or some shit, bro. That shit lame as fuck, bro. What's that- what's that damn- never mind. ...are going to get insane. Number 10, Soru Soru no Mi. Soru Soru no Mi is a paramecia type devil fruit that allows the user to interact with and manipulate human souls. It was formerly eaten by Carmel and later obtained by Big Mom. This fruit is, Big without Mama. a doubt, one of the strongest fruits in the entirety of One Piece. Its power of soul manipulation consists of manifesting and drawing out the souls of people who feel fear. The user can extract the victim's soul by grabbing and pulling it out, effectively stealing the victim's lifespan. Another interesting thing is that the user can choose how much of a victim's lifespan they want to take. What? It's possible to steal decades of a person life at once or even just mere seconds. Another unique ability of the Soru Soru no Mi is allowing the user to infuse objects with soul fragments, granting them intelligence as well as the ability to speak. Almost anything can be infused with a soul, including plants, food, furniture, light, and even living animals. Big Mom refers to these beings as homies, and according to her, the more powerful the individual, the- <laughs> That motherfucker lonely as hell, bro. Like she- bro. She eat everything in sight, bro. I'm surprised that whole damn island ain't gone, bro. Soul was taken from, the more powerful the resulting homie will be. The one major weakness of this fruit is that its powers can be easily avoided if the victim doesn't feel any fear towards the user. Shown in Jinbei's and Big Mom's case, where she couldn't take Jinbei's soul because he didn't fear her in the slightest. Number 9. Hito Hito no Mi. Model, Daibutsu. Hito Hito no Mi, Model Daibutsu, is a mythical Zoan type devil fruit that allows its user to transform into Buddha. It was eaten by Sengoku, the former fleet But admiral into who? Nigga, what the f. <laughs> <laughs> We don't really have much information about this fruit as Sengoku used it only once throughout the entire show, but from the looks of it, it seems to be primarily used for combat. Like other Zoan Devil Fruits, Hito Hito no Mi grants Sengoku incredible physical strength and allows him to contend with some of the strongest fighters in the series. When utilizing this fruit, Sengoku's limbs grow out of proportion, giving him abnormally large arms and relatively tiny legs, while his entire body takes on a solid gold hue. During the Marine Ford War... If he turned into a god, bruh, shouldn't this be... One of the most over, like, I about said overpowered. The video Lily says, well, I say strongest, but, bro, this motherfucker should be the strongest on this bitch. If he turns into a god, then, then again, we did just see Luffy turn into that dumb, I don't even know what the fuck it, the shit is called, the nigga fruit, whatever Sengoku the fuck. used his Buddha form to increase the power of I'm his punches and even launch golden shock waves from his palms. These attacks can cause heavy and widespread damage to a group of enemies and were strong enough what? to injure Luffy and even the Blackbeard pirates. Number 8. Magu Magu no Mi. Magu Magu no Mi is another Logia type devil fruit, and this one allows the user to turn into magma. It was eaten by Sakazuki, better known as Fleet Admiral Akainu. Even when compared to other Logias, which are powerful in their own right, the Magu Magu no Mi possesses unmatched offensive power, which 
even the creator of One Piece stated that if Akainu wanted to find One Piece, you could do it in one year. Same as Aokiji, Akainu what is also capable of changing the climate of an entire island using his I power and turning it into burning lands. Despite allowing most of the attacks to harmlessly pass through the user, due to the fruit's natural element, it can also seriously burn anyone who tries to physically touch Akainu, and in some cases, it can also melt weapons that come into contact with him. Akainu proved just how powerful this fruit really is during the Summit War, where he fought against many strong pirates like Ace, Jinbei, Ivankov, and even Whitebeard. His signature attacking move is transforming his fist into magma and sending it towards his opponents. He now, how the hell are you supposed to magma fist and send them into the air, what the similar fuck? to volcanic eruption? Aside from the standard devil fruit weakness, the powers of Magu Magu no Mi doesn't seem to be weak against anything specific. Even in Akainu's battle Nigga, against huh? Akiji, who should have some advantage over him due to his ice powers, he still came out victorious. Number seven. <laughs> Y'all might as well just give that nigga the one piece, bro. He ain't got no weaknesses. What the fuck, bro? I don't know why he not going for it. Uo Uo no Mi, Model Seiryu. Uo Uo no Mi, Model Seiryu is a mythical Zoan type devil fruit that allows the user to transform into the Ozzy okay, Dragon. These are the type of fruits that I fucking hate. I hate these damn shits. I hate these ones that turn people into animals. I do that shit is just so stupid. Man. I hate these type of fruits, bro. He was eaten by one of the former emperors of the sea, Kaido. Besides the transformation, this fruit gives the user many supernatural abilities, the most out of any mythical Zoan fruit seen so far. The most prominent is the power to conjure flame clouds, with which the user can travel through the air using them as footholds. Additionally, the user can create and control various elements. Yeah, these Zoan fruits, bro. Seen like... being fired, sending a scorching blast that the user breathes out, which can instantly decimate large structures. Aside from the flames, the user can also launch lightning bolts while roaring and cutting blades of wind while blowing, on top of stirring up strong, fast-rotating tornadoes. Besides the ability to turn into a full dragon, the user of Uo Uo no Mi can also transform into a smaller human dragon form, which is much more suited for close combat and Bruh, and that shit remind me of them American Dragon, bruh. That shit reminds me of American Dragon. And what type of fruit did... Cha what, what's his name? Tony, what Tony Chopper, bro? What what type of fruit did he eat? Cause he turns into a damn human hybrid. That shit is is that a Zoan fruit too? This form, the user retains access to their elemental attacks, like Fire Breath. Same as the previous fruit on the list, this one doesn't have any specific weaknesses. The only one being that the user needs a lot of space to transform what into his full hell? giant form and is a bit limited in enclosed spaces. Number 6. Gura Gura no Mi Gura Gura no Mi is considered to be the strongest paramecia type devil fruit in the entire series, allowing the user to create strong vibrations and quakes. It was initially eaten by Whitebeard, but upon his death, its power was stolen by Teach. The user of this fruit can devastate entire islands with ease, create massive tsunamis and earthquakes, and even crack the air itself. During the Marine Fort arc, what Whitebeard the used fuck? the powers of this fruit to fight against multiple admirals. And you might as well not even say crack the air, bro. That motherfucker punch it through dimensions. Though all of his battles were interrupted, he seemed stronger than each one. This fruit is said to be powerful enough to destroy the entire world, and even some of the highest ranking marines were terrified of what Whitebeard might do. Vice Admiral Sudo even stated that there would be no safe place left in the world if the full powers of Gura Gura no Mi were activated. We arguably never got to see its true power yet, as Whitebeard was undeniably holding back due to his entire crew being at Marine Ford, and Blackbeard lacked enough control to use it to its full potential. Number five. Yummy, yummy, no he already me. got one though. Yummy, yummy, no me is by many considered to be the strongest Logia type devil fruit in the entire series. This fruit allows the user to create and control darkness at will, and it was eaten by the current Emperor of the Sea, Blackbeard. This fruit is considered unique, even for a Logia type, and the ability it grants is said to be the most evil. The darkness this fruit creates is visually demonstrated as a black, smoke-like substance spreading out from the user's body. Since darkness is said to devour and crush everything, the user can use it to absorb physical matters and attacks of any type and even pull opponents towards him. Similar to a black hole, the yeah, user can absorb say. things inside a vortex, which Blackbeard used to suck an entire town into himself. And when he eventually regurgitated it, everything- Wait, what the fuck? Bro, that's- <laughs> That is so weird, bro. That was expelled was reduced to scraps. Interestingly, living beings who are absorbed seem to be able to survive but become heavily wounded and left in shock by the experience. However, what truly separates this fruit from any other is the unique ability to absorb and completely nullify the powers of other devil fruit users by simply touching them. All types, via paramecia, 
Zoan or Logia are affected by this. Number four. Wait, so if somebody get touched, they just can't use it at all? Or does he have to be holding them for them not to be able to use a ability? And how the fuck do you eat two fruits, bro? How you got two powers, bro? Is that not, is that not supposed to kill you? Obe Obe no Mi. Obe Obe no Mi is a paramecia type devil fruit that grants the ability to freely manipulate and remodel anyone or anything. This fruit was formerly held by a certain famous doctor, but later consumed by Trevelgar Law. By creating a spherical force oh. field centered around the user, they gain control over everything inside This nigga's hard, bro. From living beings to non living objects. As Smoker put it, the Obe Obe no Mi's user becomes the surgeon, force field the operating room, and those caught inside are the patients on the operating table. Obe Obe no Mi can literally be used in hundreds of ways, but some ways law uses this fruit are swapping the locations of two targets slicing people yeah this thing is hard bro injury, permanently taking out people's organs without harm or even creating electric shocks to destroy people's bodies from the inside although this fruit is not as offensively strong as some of the other fruits on the list it has one more unique ability that makes it the ultimate devil fruit in exchange for the user's own life obe obe no mi can grant some oh, eternal fuck. youth pretty much making them immortal this is why the world government is willing to pay an incredibly high bounty of five billion berries to anyone who can deliver this fruit to them before we cover bro i swear he's gonna be one of my favorite characters that's gotta be one of the hardest niggas on there the strongest devil fruit in the entire show let's first quickly go over these two mysterious fruits first okay these are not yet fully confirmed but from what we've seen in the recent chapters it seems oh, that these fuck. fruits will be amongst the strongest in the series and the first ones are the gorosei devil fruits in chapter 1085 we've seen all five elders seemingly transforming into animalistic creatures which sabo has described as demonic looking although it's currently unknown if these transformations are the results of devil fruit powers or something else entirely many fans speculate that these are probably some kind of zoan devil fruits their place on the list is purely hypothetical at this point but it's certain that they're incredibly strong another speculative entry on this list is emu who we see transforming into a massive beast-like creature capable what of consuming fire from what we've seen so far emu doesn't appear to have a solid body and instead he constantly morphs and changes shapes like a shadow even looking cartoonish sometimes like luffy in his gear 5 form they also controlled what appeared to be a sharp pointed arrowhead or tentacle strong enough to severely injure even the logia user sabo again emu's place on this what list is fuck? purely speculative speculation but since they are expected to be one piece's final villain they are bound to be extraordinarily powerful number one hito hito no mi bro why okay why do they call these devil fruits like what's the what's the thing behind it model Mika. Hito Hito no Mi, model Mika, is a mythical Zoan devil fruit that was eaten by the one and only Monkey D. Luffy. This fruit enables its user to transform into a sun god, giving them a rubbery like body. It's said that its powers are only limited by the user's imagination. For some reason, the world government is terrified of this fruit, and they've tried to obtain it for over 800 years without success. The government even went as far Damn. as to completely erase the Mika fruit from history, giving it the name Gomu Gomu no Mi and pretending it's just a basic paramecia fruit. Once Luffy awakened the fruit's true powers, he was shown doing ridiculous things like transforming into a giant cartoonishly stretching his body bending the environment around him and even stretching lightning itself although the powers of this fruit are absurd there is some limitation to them for example luffy can't stretch things indefinitely as they're bound to tear at some point wait so how did actually no I, I gotta get to it for me to know that never mind and the fruit puts enormous strain on his body which leads to him turning into an old man once he transformed dude law is still one of my favorite bro that motherfucker that ability is just too damn hard this shit remind me of sasuke that's why i like this shit so 